Hello, Leo. It is time for your February to March mid reading for this current year Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. I am still taking personal readings if you want one. My email is down in the description below. Hit me up with what you're looking for. And I have a PayPal if you want to make donations because I really don't charge for readings. But I like tips. So, there you go. We're going to be doing your reading now. It's going to be a Thunderdome, so there's going to be you and another person possibly. Group one, group two. You know how it goes. Pick who you think you are or if you're involved at all. Because I don't know which one you're going to be. Okay. No whammies. So, group one, we have Nine of Pentacles, King of Swords, Nine of Wands reversed, Princess of Cups, Six of Cups, both reversed, Death reversed, and the beginning theme is Ten of Cups reversed. Someone is not satisfied. It's starting to get ugly. It's starting to get dull. It's starting to get like, uh yeah, we've been through this, right? Hmm. Not a lot of sympathy. I feel like Nine of Pentacles, right? Someone wants to express themselves. Someone wants to get creative. Someone wants to shine. They're willing to walk off and find great joy with that, too. Possibly just being by themselves. This person's happy by themselves. They're willing to walk away and do whatever, right? Right. Then we have the Princess or the Page of Cups, who is someone who's kind of being immature about their feelings. They're not really expressing them. They're not being honest about how they feel. And they aren't taking the time to think about it either, Group 1. I mean, this person isn't really taking the time to like really determine whether or not what they're feeling is real. Maybe they aren't even trying to express it to themselves, right? They have this King of Swords person, someone who's wanting either the truth or to tell someone how they really feel, but it's like, that's not the right idea, man. Bad idea. It's very strange. Like, someone thinks that it's a bad idea to express the truth? Or go for the truth? Decided not to resurrect something? Yeah, I don't feel a lot of sympathy with this reading. If at all. Let's see. Six of Cups. Reverse. Someone. What's going against you is like some not so good memories and it's really got you in your head. A lot of mental anguish. Nine of Wands. Reverse. Someone is... I feel like someone's going a little bit on a rampage when it comes to the fences. Like, they're afraid to let their guard down more than anything than they are, and they're just lashing out for that. Yeah, because they are might be out of control. Might be dealing with an Aries, if you don't have Aries in your um, chart. Someone's feeling a little bit out of control, and it's hard for them to, like, figure out who's friend or foe. They're not sure how they should feel. Someone is not sure how they should feel at all. Like, this is a lot of, like, someone's willing to walk away to find their happiness. But they don't know. And then we have the death card, the catalyst and final result. We begin with someone not wanting to ch change. So they got to change. <laughs> this could definitely be Scorpio. That's interesting. Something didn't change, so somebody has to change. What a weird way of putting that. Hmm. 
In a group one, this person is, um... This person... I feel like... Will either come up and say that there's no chance for resurrection, or they aren't going to be honest about a resurrection. Because they got some bad memories they gotta get over. They got some things they gotta sort out with their emotions. They just wanna move forward. And it's a hard time for them. Ending theme, completion, once again, another 10. Um, definitely in a position where, like, you want to start something that's going to bring some, like, financial gain and stability because, like, this emotional fulfillment just hasn't been enough. You're willing to go to get it in order to establish yourself, that's for sure. But that's not necessarily a bad thing, I just feel like there's something... Something feels really shallow. Yeah, you're weighing your options out right now. Like, you're not trying to be in your emotions very much. Because right now, whatever it is that's got you emotional in the past is, like, bugging the shit out of you with the Nine of Swords. Right? Then we got a Page of Pentacle right here. There is a small, small chance, a small linger of hope right here. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, someone will be giving you an offer. It doesn't look like much, but it is still an offer nonetheless. That might be what you're weighing out, too. It's been given to you, coming towards you, since it's facing towards the future. It's the last card for the group one. Yes, and apparently there's, with this, you're weighing your options, there's an offer right here, and look, love, two of cups. I feel like someone felt like they were out of control in the relationship, actually. Like, something needed to go in order for that to actually come in and, like, fix things and look at relationship, but... I don't know. Let's go to group two. Group two. You're coming up. Uh. Excuse me. Okay, group two. Raiden. That's a two. Okay. Let's see what's going on with you, group two, and figure out fudge the what out of everything, right? No whammies. Okay. So we got for you. Jerry reverse, possibly cancer. Sacred Crow or the full reverse. I'm just gonna start calling by their traditional names because it's easier. Hanged man. Nine of Wands, you're guarding too. Nine of Cups reversed. Nine of Swords. Jesus. Beginning theme. Four of Pentacles reverse. Keeping shit to yourself. Hmm. Let's see. Group two. Four of Pentacles reverse. It's like you're keeping your stuff, your ideas and stuff to yourself more than anything. But in a very negative, restrictive sense. Like you could be releasing it, but I don't think you are. It doesn't feel like you are. It feels like you're keeping a lot of your ideas and investments to yourself. Um, this cherry reverse, right? Someone's definitely on the move, 
but I feel like they're going in the war just to murder. Not to actually do anything that is noble, but more to do like... I'm gonna fuck someone up today. Yeah. They are completely ready to win a battle. Someone wants to go ahead. They don't care. They're walling themselves up. They are ready to fend themselves off from others. And then we got the Nine of Wands, which also feels with, like, defense. And, yeah! Double defense! They're defensive as shit. Group two. They are defensive, and they are, like, keeping an eye out. Like, they're throwing out their sticks, and they're standing guard on the sticks. Like, someone is definitely, like, taking action to, like, protect themselves, it seems like. Like, what is this? <laughs> like, then we have the Wheel of Fortune reversed. With this fool, like, somebody wants... Wait, someone doesn't want... To move ahead? Like, someone's willing to take a leap of faith, but that's not happening. Like, the Wheel of Fortune has stalled that. It's halted that. It's it, it stopped it. For whatever reason. And then down here with the... It, it, like, somebody wanted that to happen. Somebody wanted a reason for it this not to continue so we have the nine of cups right here right reverse though so it's like wishes dreams come true but there was like a lot of fucking baggage that came with that there was a lot of like baggage possibly a third wheel situation like someone got what they wished for But the baggage is the third wheel. Either it's overindulgence or partying or celebrations or just someone looking at the wrong person. Like this bitch needs to keep her eyes to herself. This is my man, right? One of those things. Someone's just not satisfied. Someone is not happy. It didn't work out the way they thought it would. And now this brand new beginning didn't happen. Like, someone wanted to take a leap of faith, and it didn't come up. And now we got the hangman and the fear. And someone's afraid that, like, they're going to be stuck at this crossroads and things aren't going to change. Then we got the catalyst and the final result with the nine of pentacles. Or nine of swords, my bad. Where someone is really stuck in their head. They feel like a prisoner in their own mind and causing their own issues. Could be you, Leo. Or someone dealing with Leo. Or has fire in their chart. Also Sagittarius and Aries as well. But it's, it's like... Hmm. I'm not sure. Like... Either someone is, like, imprisoned with this idea. About a fire sign. Haunted by this fire sign. But they are tortured right now. Feeling with this fire. Like, either this fire sign is a little bit tortured. Or someone is putting themselves through mental anguish over them. A lot of fighting going on that's not ending. There's a lot of battles that are um, still going on, it seems like. With the five of wands right here, it seems like people are still arguing and bickering and not coming together for the, uh, the same goals anymore. Like, someone is definitely feeling like they can't express themselves because all it does is start arguments. Or cause someone not to, like, see things their way. Yeah, someone's hung up on all this and they're at a crossroads with all of this protecting themselves and not wanting to open up. And there might be things that are still hidden within this whole, like, wanting to take a leap of faith but not doing it and feeling like they got what they wished for, but now they regretted it with this third wheel situation. 
this third party, this third coming together of sorts, right? And, yeah, there's some unfairness going on in here, too. Justice is reversed. Everybody's had justice in their reading. Everybody, I swear. It has been popping up for everyone. But, yeah, like, there was some unfairness. Some bad karma. Like, yeah. Something to work on, right? But that's the reading, guys. I will see you later. Bye-bye.